Welcome guys I hope you are fine. In this video the Omicron variant will be discussed so keep watching till the end for the full details. According to a health editor report on BBC News Online by Michelle Roberts, UK researchers warned that if a person has a sore throat, runny nose and a headache then there is a good chance he will be a COVID Omicron variant patient. The Zoo COVID study team has been tracking the pandemic using feedback from the general public and estimates half of people with cold-like symptoms actually have an Omicron variant. They describe an explosion of COVID cases over the last week driven by the new Omicron variant. About 1,44,000 people a day are catching it and then feeling unwell. The new strain is spreading rapidly across the UK. Two studies published on Wednesday based on UK hospital data suggested that variant is significantly milder than Delta, but it can still cause serious illness in some people. For most people, on Omicron positive cases will feel much more like the common cold, starting with a sore throat, runny nose and a headache. For most, COVID is a mild disease. Some get no symptoms at all but it can still cause very serious illness in some people including those who have not been vaccinated. In London, about 1 in 30 people was likely to test positive in the week to December 16, the highest proportion for any region. The Zoo app calculated the figures by comparing the number of new cases of a cold-like illness to the number of new cases of confirmed COVID. If you have cold-like symptoms, take a COVID test, says lead scientist Professor Tim Spector. Professor Spector also said to slow the spread of Omicron, the public should avoid socializing indoors, check people they are meeting they are free of cold symptoms, test before meeting up and get fully vaccinated. For most people, an Omicron positive case will feel much more like the common cold, starting with a sore throat, runny nose and a headache. You only need to ask a friend who has recently tested positive to find this out. We need to change public messaging urgently to save lives. This is guys, I hope this video will be informative for you. Thanks for watching.